Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. User scores 0.9, 0.8, 0 0.5, 0 0.8. Didn't do so well. In my previous video, I talked about the time leading up to the launch of the trilogy and how bad it was, how bad Rockstar's communication was, how just they fumbled it in every possible way and how bad their launcher is. It hasn't received any updates in two years and still looks like it was made by a 12 year old. And I was shown to be even more correct than I originally would have expected, considering that like a couple of hours after the trilogy released, the services for the Rockstar Games launcher went down. All the titles went down. You couldn't play any of their games. Rockstar, of course, claimed that this was simple maintenance. I mean, every company, a few hours after releasing a game, goes into maintenance and takes down all their games. That's just a standard practice in the gaming industry. But after 24 hours of the launcher being down, Rockstar comes out and says, hey, look, the launcher's now back, but unfortunately, we just removed that game that we just released and hyped up for a couple of months. Uh, you know, all that money you paid us, fuck you. We have it now. You can't play your game. Deal with it. And the reason, apparently, that they had to do this was to remove files that they unintentionally included in these versions. I mean, it was already very obvious that not a lot of effort went into these games, but they didn't even check what files they were actually sending out to the consumers. Word around the block is that the trilogy got cracked immediately upon launch because of a bunch of stuff that they left in the titles. And that's more than likely why they took it down. But it took them 24 hours just to remove a game from their launcher. How incompetent. They force upon their player base a launcher and do nothing with it for two years except cause them headaches, annoyance, take their money and prevent them access to the games. They couldn't do this shit for Steam, could they? Rockstar foisting massive inconvenience on their consumers and not even trying to soften the blow. Vadim, well known for taking apart the older versions of Vice City, SA, and GTA 3 and all that jazz, uh, writes here, The Switch version is the holy grail for people who likes behind the scenes. They leaked almost everything in the original trilogy. It includes script sources, text sources, internal tools, some other weird files. So this is all gibberish to me. I'm not a programmer, but it seems as though, obviously, Rockstar really screwed up. We also learned, as we feared, that the reason why Rockstar took down competing fan mods is because they couldn't match up to them at all. Here's the original, here's Definitive, and here is a Peds pack from a fan. Which one of these looks better to you? It's obviously not the Definitive Edition. That isn't to say that the remasters don't look better than the original sometimes. As I said in my review, the quality ranges from like a 4 to a 7, while the original game, just with a basic set of mods, is a consistent 6. There's just no defense for this stuff. Character models screwed up, like textures like this being screwed up, uh, fingernails, look, look at this fingernail! Look at this guy, what is this monstrosity? Which one of these looks better to you? This is a remaster by a billion dollar company. Like, holy hell, dude. <laughs> it's so bad! Like, how does this ever get released? The worst parts for me are the removal of facial expressions. There's emotion here, there's emotion here, and then CJ in the remaster, just blank face. Or like, the lack of detail. Look at this comparison here. God damn. And I saw the woman who gives you food. Oh god, she looks inhuman. Anyone defending this by saying, oh, they're just remasters. Okay, there have been way better remasters than this, but there was no reason that Rockstar had to remaster instead of remake these games. It should not be the case that I, a humble guy on YouTube, has more care and consideration for the products that they produce than a billion dollar company does. I care more about each one of my YouTube videos than Rockstar does for the games that were foundational to who they are today. These are the games that gave Rockstar success, that put them on the map, and this is how they're being treated. Not treated with care and consideration, but instead, how can we do the least effort possible for the maximum amount of profit? The only true improvement is that they apparently put me in the game, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, thank you, Rockstar, for acknowledging me with this overweight guy with a Rockstar jumper. Thank you. As SkillUp says, I had a good time playing GTA San Andreas today, but goddamn, is it an absolute shit tier port? Janky ass character most lighting is Fuba. Runs terribly on an Xbox Series X, no matter how. No wonder Rockstar didn't show off any gameplay prior to release. Shady as all hell. When I was playing, I noticed that I had to tinker with the brightness and contrast because every single cutscene, it seemed like everyone was permanently in shadow. Very strange. And people are having trouble hitting 60 FPS on this game that is like, you know, 20 years old. Look at the this rain. 
awful. But on the note of people having a good time, would you have had just as good a time paying five bucks for the original games and then installing like one mod on it? And the answer is yes. The only fun you're having with these games is due to the original games being good. Nothing about the remaster has made these games more enjoyable. People effectively paid 60 bucks to be reminded that the original trilogy exists and to have an excuse to play it again. I was unaware how good the mods for the original game were. I suppose it's not that surprising considering how loved the original games were. Like, if there was just a marketing campaign to be like, hey, you guys should play the original games with mods, people would have paid one-tenth the price and had probably twice as much fun. It's often what I say, there are so many great games in the past that we just never think to go back and play again. The original trilogy was one of them. And Rockstar, rather than giving us a better experience, gave us a subpar experience and charged maximum price. Like, here's the re-release of Mafia released in 2002. And here's GTA SA from 2004, its re-release. One company here gave a shit. The other one did not. The state of Rockstar Games these days. I got caught up in the money, the power. Rockstar Games are definitely violating a consumer law for taking away ownership of a consumer product without offering automatic refunds. I was enjoying it until they removed it. This isn't right, Rockstar Games, and you know it. Given how many consumer protection laws exist in my country, and, you know, they even slapped down Steam in this country for not giving refunds, I guarantee you that Rockstar could be brought up with some sort of charge. But I would imagine that Rockstar will probably put the game back long before any sort of uh, lawsuit would ever take place. Rockstar Games right now after watching everyone buy the original trilogy remaster. Thanks for the money, sucker! <laughs> So here's the original GTA 3 without any mods. Look at that expression on that face. Gone. Like, absolutely no love was taken with this remaster. Not a fuck was given. Rockstar making the horse testicles in Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar making the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. <laughs> Sweet holding his gun the wrong way. I mean, I received a bug in the very beginning of the game where Sweet got stuck on a car and couldn't move forward. And that was within the, in my first five minutes of playing. So this doesn't surprise me. To add insult to injury, you can't even buy the original games anymore because that would involve consumer choice and Rockstar does not fuck with that shit. You do what Rockstar says or else. The only upside, as I said before, is that this is going to cause some people to play the original trilogy and there's still good games. No amount of bad remaster can fuck that up. They're still worth playing. Worth buying for $60? Probably not. But hey, at least we'll get some videos in the coming months of people comparing the games and breaking down how they fucked up so badly. And they'll be funny to watch. Hope you're doing good. Have a good one.